Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard this American Airlines flight to Mexico City. Today is December 5th, 2022. I'm in Mexico City. I've been struggling quite a bit lately, emotionally and mentally. I haven't been able to work or sleep or accomplish anything really. And I didn't feel like I could get it out of it. So I decided to get out of Austin, move my body, cut off my hair and go somewhere without distractions someplace special to me so now I'm here in Mexico City and it uh, feels good to be here This hotel is in Centro, Mexico City. The group that owns it also owns the hotel that we're going to in Puerto Escondido. And the CEO of that company is a friend of mine that I met last year in Puerto Escondido. I have, just, I have such strange feelings about going back to this place. It was uh, a place that Emily and I, my uh, former lover and great friend, uh, visited very often. Although I'm very eager for sunshine and, and surf and the ocean. I'm also uh, a bit dubious about the feelings that arise in being in a place that Emily and I spent so much time together in. But that's life, so here we go. Puerto Escondido, such an incredibly tranquil place. A special place with a lot of meaning to me. It's a place I've shared with family, friends, and her. Now I feel like I've come here to get over her. Yet it's impossible not to think of her, to feel her. Each sunset, every sunrise, it's a necessary initiation to the heart. Get through this, come out the other side, healed, hopefully.
was challenging. It's really difficult to be here and be alone. I don't know if I've ever felt so alone. And I came to a place that uh, I love because of somebody that I loved and the experiences we had here. I still love that person. I still love her. I could see for miles and miles and I could still only think about one person it's just so difficult to be to have emotions and feelings and they're things I haven't experienced in so long and yet I'm so incredibly grateful for them and I'm grateful for my friends I'm grateful for this place I'm grateful for coming 900 miles away just to discover how uncomfortable I am with myself, how afraid I am of being myself, how much I have no idea who I am and what things I can do for fun when I'm alone, what brings me joy to do when I'm alone. These are all things I'm figuring out now because of a separation, because of just so much emotional change in myself. And this is exactly what I wanted, is emotional change. Being emotionally connected to myself and to the people that I love so that I can really fully love them and really fully love myself. And I did all these wacky things, you know, I cut off all my hair. I came to Puerto Escondido, Mexico, and I walked the beach at sunset, and I went to, to, to Temescal and sat by myself and just went through so many moments of uncomfortability to get to exactly where I am right now, which is self-love. No matter what.